today's video is going to be a little bit different. Now, I normally show you fitness stuff, like how to target the underbutt, which you can watch here, and also five best dumbbell exercises for your back, which is here. I love those videos. There is nothing wrong with wanting to look better, but there's this one thing that I love to talk about that I believe is so much more important, and that little thing is mindset. And if you were to spend more time working on that, then you'd get that sexy and toned body that you want way faster and way easier. It sounds like crazy talk, I know, but stay with me because I'm gonna show you the five steps to getting your dream body and also everything you've ever wanted. Ready? Let's get into it. Let's just rewind for a little bit first. For those of you who don't know me, this is me eight years ago. Skinny, insecure, um, always broke, and liked to play the victim. <laughs> Granted, it's taken me a long time to get to where I am today. Eight years ago, I moved all the way across the globe from the UK to Australia on my own with no plan in order to find myself. And in those years, I've struggled. I've felt extremely lost. But I did also find my passion for lifting weights. But my biggest breakthrough has only recently been this past year. Now, I'm finally living life on my own terms. I'm my own boss. And I literally spend all my days just doing what I'm passionate about. And the best thing about it is that I'm finding that everything I've ever wanted is now slowly trickling into my life. So it got me thinking, what have I done differently to get so much growth in this last year compared to the last eight years of struggling? Well, I put it down to these five steps because when I made these a priority, everything in my life changed. Visualization. There's a really good reason why I'm sat in front of this vision board right here. So you've all heard the sayings, if you think it, you can achieve it. Visualization is such a powerful tool in manifesting what you want into reality. It's something that entrepreneurs and top athletes do this to win races and score big deals. But here's what where most people go wrong. Killing your vibe with the house. It's literally insane how much we get in our own way. So let's say you want a slimmer, healthier body. Instead of focusing on what it feels like to have a slim and healthy body, you just automatically throw obstacles on your path by trying to work it out too fast. How am I gonna lose weight? Which diet should I go on? How long is it gonna take me? And because you don't have all the answers just yet, you start to doubt yourself, you get overwhelmed, and then you just tell yourself that you can't do it. I can't afford to eat healthy, I don't have the time to spend in the gym, I'm too old to start, blah, blah, blah. Can you hear that? That's the sound of your dreams dying. I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, but I'm kidding. So stop trying to work everything out this red hot minute and instead go for the feeling of it first. Our minds are powerful tools with limitless potential. We are magnificent creators. We literally have the ability to mold our thoughts into things. And we do that by using our imagination. How epic is that? You can literally be or do or have anything that you want in life. But first, you have to get really clear on what it is that you want. And then just reach for thoughts that feel good about it when you think them. <laughs> Sounds easy, right? But here's where it generally goes wrong for the most of us. You think you're visualizing your desire when in actual fact, you are thinking of the lack of it. So you use affirmations like, I want a slim and healthy feeling body. Hmm. But in reality, what you're actually thinking is, I feel so fat and tired. You can't just put a happy face sticker on it and think that things are gonna change. They're not. Just like you can't think bad about something and then expect it to turn out good. I don't know what else to say to you guys. The universe just doesn't work that way. So the trick is to imagine you've already got it. Just humor me for a little minute, please. And just close your eyes down right now and see yourself fit, toned, trying on some new clothes at your favorite store. Look at the label, 
see the size that you'd like to be trying on, run your hands down your waist and imagine what it would feel like to wear that figure hugging outfit with confidence. That's what I'm talking about. The beauty is that we have the ability to imagine things as we'd like them to be and our minds they can't tell the difference between reality or something imagined. So get clear, dream big, imagine you have it already and feel good while doing it. P.S. Let me just point out that this doesn't just have to be fitness related, right? This can be for anything that you want in life. Okay, moving on. Take aligned action. Being able to visualize what you want is a powerful tool, but there's no point in doing that if you don't take action. This step sounds so simple, but so many people don't actually do it. You can't just sit on your bum all day and expect to have a fit and toned body. Do you wanna know the hard fact? You are never going to feel ready. There is no perfect time to start, and you know what? Honestly, we're all just winging it. Most days, I have no clue if what I'm doing is right or not. But the only thing that has actually propelled me forward is starting. Just start. Stop making excuses. I know that the fear of failure can be crippling. Believe me, I've been there. You see, every successful person who's at the top of their game was once upon a time a newbie, just like you are. And they sucked at what they did. So just accept that you're gonna make mistakes. Be prepared to fail and fail big. That's how you evolve and get really, really good at what you do. But I do wanna say one thing. There is no point in you taking action unless it's aligned action. Going with your gut. You have to start trusting your intuition. It will never fail you. No one ever said, oh, I wish I didn't follow my instincts that one time. But how often do you say to yourself, oh man, I had a bad feeling about that. I wish I'd done something about it. Don't just go through the motions of setting goals and getting a to-do list, and then burning the candle at both ends when you realize that everything you're doing is just a means to an end and you're miserable. You gotta learn to listen to your heart. Now, if you've been a good girl for most of your life and followed the rules and done what everyone else has expected of you, then you're gonna probably find this a little bit difficult to do at first. I spent the majority of my life being a people pleaser. But last year, I made a promise to myself no more. I was going to honor my feelings and start making decisions based on my happiness, even if that meant going against the opinions of my friends and my family and even society. Selfish? Hell yes. But why should we be anything else? Because if I'm not following my heart and taking care of my own happiness, not only do I take away my own power, but I do the other person a disservice also. I'm no use to anyone else unless I'm living my fullest, happiest life. So I encourage you to adopt this new mantra. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it. You know, the real difficult thing is that your intuition, it doesn't shout, it whispers. And often it's really hard to hear it at all because that inner voice gets drowned out by what your parents expect of you, what your friends think you should do, and what society conditions you to believe. But they don't create your life for you. Only you know what's best for you. So how do you tap into that intuition? You've got to allow yourself more time to chill the f out. Yep, you heard right. Spend more time being lazy. But hang on, shouldn't I be more productive? Shouldn't I work harder? Isn't lazy being counterproductive? Mm. No. Albert Einstein once famously said, creativity is the residue of time wasted. The time that you enjoy wasting isn't wasted time. So, you know, spend more time being quiet. Disconnect from your phone. Do more things that feel good just for the sake of feeling good. Take more naps, relax. Meditate for 15 minutes every day with the simple intention of just sitting still and quieting your mind. Get outside, look up, connect with nature. 
be more spontaneous, do more things that bring more ease and fun into your life. Because in that lazy, relaxed, feel-good place, you allow your cork to float. You allow who you really are, unhindered and connected, to come through. And then you'll be able to hear that inner voice loud and clear. Cultivate self-belief. Taking action by going with your gut is also the only way that you're gonna start believing in yourself because nothing you want in life can come to you unless you first believe that you can have it. If you know that you are the creator of your own life, then start owning it. Tell yourself you are worthy, tell yourself you're good enough, tell yourself that you can do it. But look, sticking a happy face sticker on it when you don't believe it isn't gonna help either. You can't just scream affirmation. Affirmations are useless unless they make you feel inspired and powerful and capable while you say them. The universe doesn't hear what you say, it hears what you feel. I know this sounds like a really hard step to do, but you have to believe that you already have your dream body before you look in the mirror and see it in front of you. You have to reach for that feeling of what it feels like to be fit and energized. It won't come to you unless you can reach for that feeling. So how do you actually start believing in yourself when you don't? All you've got to do is start telling a different story that makes you feel a little bit better about yourself as you tell it. You can't just jump from insecure to self-assured in one fell swoop. You just can't get there from there. But you can reach for better feeling thoughts bit by bit. You know, something that sticks, some statement that you can say to yourself that you actually already believe that is in the direction of where you want to go. Take baby steps, there's no rush. And it really doesn't matter how insignificant and small, you, when you find this thought, you've just gotta milk it for all it's worth. You've gotta get momentum going with it. Practice makes perfect, it's like anything. If you wanna grow big, strong muscles, what do you do? You train them in the gym. Your mind is no different. In order to cultivate self-belief, you have to practice it. It's not gonna come natural straight away. But you know what? Before I go, I just wanna say one more thing. Doing all of these steps will absolutely get you the body that you want and everything else too. But don't put so much pressure on yourself. You are exactly where you need to be right now and you are perfect the way you are. So just cut yourself some slack. No one's got it 100% figured out and that's just life. The trick is to just learn to be happy with where you are and then everything that you want just kind of magically comes into your life. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in another video.